She even kind of looks like Carrie. No, she does not. Besides, how would that little skinny girl throw Madison up against the ceiling? With powers we have yet to comprehend. Careful in there. Don't anger her. We don't know what she's capable of. You're right. You should probably go in there with me. For protection. You're a hard girl to find, Jordan. I had to get away from Faircroft. Everyone was whispering about how I was the one that killed Madison. And why would they say that? Is it because Madison was your nemesis? She didn't used to be. For the longest time, I was invisible to Madison and her bitch click. Just like I am to most people. And then last month, first morning back after winter break, I was in the library reading, and I ran into her in the Russian lit section, and she got all pissed, saying I couldn't tell anyone that I'd seen her there. What was she angry about? I have no idea. Maybe she didn't want anyone to know that she actually studies. But then, later that day, Madison started messing with me, and it just got worse from there. So you pulled that stunt in the cafeteria to make her scared of you? I just wanted them to stop. Is that why you killed Madison? I guess so. I, I don't know. It's a nervous habit. Jordan, there's no guessing here. Either you did or you didn't kill Madison. I got so angry. Stuff just started flying around the cafeteria. And then I wished for Madison to be dead, and the next thing I knew, she was. It had to be me, right? Where were you between 8 and 10 p.m. last night? I was studying at Lulu's Cafe in Astoria. 